So with the release of iPad OS 14, there's been a bit of an update to Notes. So as well as the Scribble tool, which I've looked at in previous videos, and you can check out using this link here, there's also some just quite small tweaks to kind of the setup, the layout of that. So I thought it'd be useful to, to just go over what some of those features look like and how you can now find things. So I'm going to jump into notes on my uh, iPad. I've gone into a folder. There's, there's nothing in the folder at the moment, but just have a look at some of the new kind of layout to how to access things. You'll notice now that the icons along the top are a little bit different. Uh, they still do the same things. We have create a new note. Um, I'll come to this one in a second. The more we have our pen tool, where if you've seen the other videos on Scribble, you'll know that you can now, uh, you know, have the shape recognition. Um, you can have the handwriting recognition. Uh, all sorts of things that you can add in here uh, in terms of, you know, selecting the text, etc. And uh, check out the other videos for all those other things that you can do with it. Um, all your pencils are still there. And again, the, the handwriting one, which is which is really neat, really, really cool. Um, other things to just look at then, the camera, which used to be along the bottom by the keyboard, is now along the top. And if you tap on that, it obviously takes you to those uh, same icons as before. So scan documents, take photos, or choose from your camera library. And of course, your checklist uh, icon as well for doing that checklist. Now, the one thing that's changed slightly, this one used to be a, a kind of extension, the Sharrow, the square with the arrow pointing up. Um, it's now the three dots, the more icon. And when you click into this, you have a different layout. Um, I think it's really, really nice um, having the colors in there to kind of point to different things. Again, there's nothing new here, just kind of quicker ways to get to certain things, I guess. Less like a share extension that you'll see on other apps. And maybe this is the way that Apple are going now with the, what the share extension page looks like. But I've got quick access to scan documents, which is really, really nice. Pin those notes. So if there's something that I use quite a lot, I can pin this directly. So it's, it's always at the top of my notes. Lock the notes. If you haven't seen this before, really, really nice function, nice feature. If you want to lock a note, you can put a password on it, which means that even if someone else was using your device, you can lock those notes. No one else can get into them uh, and obviously delete. If you do still want to share the note, this is the icon that used to be at the top here. It's now uh, in the list. Same settings apply though. You'll go to your share extensions, send it as a copy. So it doesn't have to be the actual note. So this is going to be a collaborative note. This is going to be a copy of the note. Search function, move the note, lines and grids, which again, if you haven't seen before, check out this video for how you can use this, but there's some nice grids that you can add in. And then finally, um, the ability to change that background. Now I'm using currently the dark background. I can change it to that light background, depending on how you're working, how you want to, to best use that application. So just a few minor tweaks, just really to the, the, the user interface of the app. But for, I think it's there's some nice kind of new ways to access certain things. And like I said, Scribble being the kind of number one feature that's come to Notes, um, as well as across other apps as well. Um, really, Notes is is getting better and better all the time for things that you might want to do with it. So there we go. Just a very, very quick overview of what is new in terms of layout in Notes in iPad OS 14.